It's a very crazy feeling releasing my EP, Too Young To Be Sad. The title of this project was kind of inspired by my brain mentality, um, not wanting to waste my years dwelling on things that might not matter in a couple years. And you could stress over the smallest things and that can be your choice in life or you could just live to be happy. And that's kind of the name of the title that, that represents that. In my opinion, what makes a good sad girl anthem? Genuinely, I feel like it changes person to person, but I feel like if you hear one lyric that somewhat relates to your life, you're gonna be hooked on the song. And that's like something with me, like if I if I hear something that literally coincides perfectly to my life, I will listen to that song on repeat forever. Hey MTV News, it's Tate McRae here and these are my top five sad girl anthems. My first sad girl anthem, I mean this is like a classic, this is When the Party's Over by Billie Eilish. I feel like this song, even if you didn't listen to any of the lyrics, which are obviously amazing, I feel like the whole vibe of the song gets me sad. I don't know why. I'll put it on when I'm driving. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> I instantly go into a daze. And I, I think it's also like Phineas is such a genius producer. He knows how to make you feel that way in all of his songs. So I commend him for that. I, yeah, I think that video is, is really special. And obviously, you know, I feel like the concept is, is really cool and isn't too direct on what the song is saying, which I think is a very cool way to, to approach it. My second sad girl anthem would be All My Friends by Tinashe. This song hits me so hard. I don't know why, it's kind of old now, but oh, it's so good though. My God, like, come on, these lyrics are crazy. This song, everything. The lyrics, the production, I feel like this is definitely like a screamer in your car. And me and my friends like scream this at the top of our lungs and it's the best feeling ever. <laughs> Another sad girl anthem for me, the third one, is Like Everybody Else by Lennon Stella. Oh my god. The heartbreaking part about this song is that it basically talks about how like you told me I was special and like I grew up and I realize now that I'm just like every other person in the world. And that's so heartbreaking because I'm such a big fan of Len and Stella and I think she's like incredible. But it's such a relatable feeling too, like to feel like you're just like, there's nothing, nothing special or, or anything, you know, about you that, that stands out is, is, is like a terrifying feeling, especially as a, an artist in the music industry. Um, and that one, this one kind of just breaks my heart. Uh, number four for Sad Girl Anthem would be Don't Watch Me Cry by Georgia Smith. There's like these really haunting piano chords behind the whole song and her, her vocals are crazy. But I think there's just something so like raw about the lyrics. It's very rare to find in a song that's literally so stripped back and so honest. Um, and this is like always in every single one of my playlists. It's incredible, you should listen to it. And finally, my last favorite sad girl anthem is Shouldn't Have Said It by Julia Michaels. This is like the queen of lyrics. Julia Michaels, I think, is one of the best songwriters on the planet. You know, it feels like such a conversation when you're listening to it. This song is like very simple and very, you know, stripped back. I, I know every single word. It, it, it takes you to a place that I feel like a lot of songs don't. And I think that's a, with a lot of Julia Michaels songs. She always knows how to hit that, that sore spot, in me at least. <laughs> I definitely think on Too Young To Be Sad, I got a lot of sad girl anthems on here. I mean, one of them being You Broke Me First, which is, <laughs> which is like a total empowering song. And one of my friends the other day was saying that she was like in her apartment and she was like, what? Who's screaming outside? She like opens her window and there was like a person sitting in her car, all the windows down, like screaming, you broke me first. <laughs> and those are like my favorite stories. So I think you broke me first is like a screamer. I mean, my songs are very much like my journal and very much real thoughts of mine. They're not anything superficial whatsoever. And I mean, that's a bit of a blessing and a bit of a curse because it's genuine and I feel like people can connect to it. But then again, it's also all my thoughts and my <laughs> internal things going out into the public. But I, I hope they just get to know me a little bit better and my perspective on life.